Welcome friends to another day with Jesus, a seven minute encouraging word from Pastor Preji. As you listen, we believe this word will strengthen you for the day. Greetings in Jesus' name. Welcome to this beautiful new morning, this beautiful new day. I pray that today we will encounter the Lord, we will experience Him, we will walk with Him in such a closeness and an intimacy that we will have a clear perspective on the things that are necessary in life and the things that are unnecessary. When we live each day based on the perspective that we receive from our understanding of who God is, we will be able to clearly identify and know what is good and what is evil, what is holy and what is not, what is sacred and what is not. In the Old Testament, in Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10, we see the Lord giving us a clear instruction. He says, you must keep what is holy separate from what is not holy. You must keep what is clean separate from what is unclean. Whenever there is a mixture of what is holy and unholy, what is clean and unclean, what is sacred and what is not sacred. Whenever we adulterate the things of God, we are in for a big, big confusion. We can save ourselves a lot of trauma if we are going to be intentional to pursue this particular principle. Light and darkness cannot go hand in hand. Either we decide to aggressively pursue the light or we choose to go the way of the dark, be the children of darkness. But if we try to do a little here and a little there, a little of God and a little of the world, a little of the church and a little of my friends, a little of the goodness of God and a little of the goodness of the world, we are in for great trouble. A lot of pain that we experience, a lot of afflictions that we experience is a result of us mixing what is holy with what is not holy. If you read the context of this scripture, the Bible talks about how Nadab and Abihu, when they were bringing an offering to God, they brought an unclean thing. They offered an unclean fire, an unholy fire, because of which fire came down from heaven and consumed these guys. Now, these guys were appointed by the Lord for priestly duty. In fact, these guys still had their priestly garments on them when they were killed, when they were consumed by God. And yet, because of the adulteration, there was a conflict in the spiritual realms. There was a conflict between light and darkness, between the right fire and the unholy fire, between the clean things and the unclean things. There is always a war that is waging between the things of the spirit and the things of the flesh. You know how Abraham listened to Sarah's advice and went ahead and uh, got Hagar impregnated and out of that relationship was born Ishmael. And this guy Ishmael, who was supposed to be a blessing to Abraham and Sarah, because this was a decision that was made in the flesh, not in the spirit. Later on, when in the spirit, when Abraham gave birth to Isaac, the Bible says that Ishmael would constantly provoke Isaac. There will be a constant battle between Ishmael and Isaac till the point where Abraham had to finally let Hagar and Ishmael leave the house. He had to ask them to go. In fact, the circumstances were so cruel that this guy was at the verge of dying in the wilderness because of thirst, because their water ran out, their food ran out. Generations later, centuries later, millennia later, we still see the conflict that has resulted because Abraham chose to trust in his flesh for a brief moment. There was a mixture of what was holy and unholy. There was a mixture between what was clean and unclean. And because of which, 
we still see a conflict in the world around us now you may be wondering if i am encouraging you to go away from god or to leave the way of pursuing the light absolutely not i desire for you to walk with god i pray that you will experience more and more of god every single day all that i'm saying is if you are still undecided if you're going to take a little bit of here and a little bit of there then let this serve as a warning for you because a uh, adulteration of the spirit realm is a very dangerous business you have to know to draw your boundaries there are going to be people that tell you it's okay to sin but do you know that every sin attaches a particular spirit to you every sin is your alignment to the kingdom of darkness every sin is you saying yes to the lordship of the devil over your life and that is why we cannot we cannot church listen to me this morning we cannot mix what is holy with what is unholy we cannot mix what is clean with what is unclean today make it a choice make a decision to intentionally separate yourself from certain people from certain television shows from certain environments from certain thought processes just meditations that you allow in your heart in your mind intentionally separate yourself from those things because you are a holy nation a special possession unto god god has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light and if you agree with me i want you to pray along father god we thank you for your grace for your protection your provision over our lives we say a yes and an amen to everything that you have spoken everything that you have released over us lord today we make a clear distinction to separate what is holy from what is not holy those people those circumstances those things that are not clean in my life give me the grace to separate myself from them from those situations thank you for you are going to help me i'm not going to do this on my own holy spirit you will be my guide my counselor my helper as i endeavor to do this in your name we pray jesus and everybody said an amen thank you dear listeners hope this word ministered to you today for further details and resources or to leave your testimonies of how this podcast has blessed you do connect with us at pastorpreji.com May his divine favor surround you today.